Team Belgium, huge congratulations. You sit there after beating the Czech Republic. Does it feel relief at the moment? Definitely a relief, isn't it? It's a massive relief because um, Czech Republic, I think, is, is a hard team. Um, Although we haven't seen them much at the World Cup, but we know Karel Sedlar Czech now from the from the, from the Pro Tour. Yeah. Adam Gaulas lost the final in the youth, so uh, they're yeah. a tough team to beat. Exactly. I've seen Gaulas uh, perform in the uh, development tour. I've seen him play great games. I've seen him being a player you don't have to underestimate. So in the beginning, I didn't feel comfortable about it, but we always have to believe in ourselves, and that's what we did, and that's what we kept doing until the end of the game. The ball winning was the important part of the whole match, I think. This is mainly for you, Kim. Belgium have never lost in the opening round of the World Cup at 3-1 down. Are you aware of that record, thinking, no, this can't happen now? To be honest, I was thinking it was worse against Nor uh, against Republic of Ireland because we was 4-1 down there. So, um, but no, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, against O'Connell and... Uh, yeah, I know yeah. exactly what game you're on about. Um, when I did, uh, yeah, but you think about it, of course, you don't want to lose and... Um, when we made it 3 2, I said to Dimitri, This is the leg to break them. And we played a really good leg there. So I'm yeah. really happy. What was it like playing with no crowd in this environment? Because, Kim, you're especially you, you're one that feeds off that crowd and we see you bouncing around off of them. Was it tough and struggled to get yourself going at times because of that no atmosphere? No, not really. It was tough to get myself going because I'm, I'm playing good and I'm playing bad. And it's, I, at the moment, I don't have the really B game. Um, I'm not, somewhere, not yet. Not yet. Uh, somewhere in between, but um, I was feeding up Dimitri and he was playing really well. He was hitting consistent scores and uh, I missed the three darts for, I think, 2 nil up. That was an important one, but um, I'm happy to get the, the 36 for the match. I think, I think what it is, it doesn't matter when they miss, I always keep giving him the feeling that we can do and we can achieve whatever we like. And I've seen him practicing with me, I've, I've seen him warming up and his B game is a whole lot stronger than he believes himself. And that's why I keep pumping into the feelings that we have. And I, you know what? At the end, look at that. A 13 dart leg at the four all game in this kind of tournament. That's tough, but we still make it. Now you're over the first hurdle. Obviously, the format goes up, not singles and potentially pairs. Do you believe that you can now go on and break this curse and lift the World Cup for Belgium? Yeah. There is no curse. <laughs> <laughs> I said to Dimitri, I said to Dimitri, like, um, if we can always make the pair, same thing I said to Ronnie. Yeah. I think we're a very strong pair. And yeah. if I look at the teams, they're very good players. But a lot of them are very good individual players. And yeah. I think the doubles, to be really 100% honest on the doubles, I think we are one of the most tough teams to beat. Yeah, I really think so too. And you know what? Uh, this year, uh, this year, this week, I've been on Facebook. I've been looking about people, what they're saying about us people that have been watching all the tournaments, all the players, and actually, crazy enough, they've been calling out Belgium a few times more than I expected. And that just gives me even more um, confidence because I know what he can and I know what I can. And you know what? Everything I have learned is because he has played it and he told me everything of uh, the lessons he had. And that's why we go in those, this far every tournament we play. Final one from me, guys. Um, it very much looked like it was still Captain Kim up there, even though, Dimitri, you were higher in the ranking. Was, was it still Captain Kim? Yes. For me, right. yes. <laughs> I, I always call him the coach. I always call I'll, him the captain. I'll take the flag. I'll take the flag. Yes. If I wear the flag, then that's always going to be without my face. Hey, he's so he's, he's above me in the ranking. He's, uh, he's one of the biggest talents in the world. He's going to be... He's top 10 now, but he's going to be top four in the world. I'm 100% sure, but I will always be Captain Kim from Belgium. And and if Ronnie team. plays, it's going to be Captain Ronnie, but after Ronnie, it's yes. me. Yes. <laughs> we Ten. miss Ronnie. We do miss Ronnie. We really miss Ronnie. We here. even gave Ronnie his own extra treatment in saying dreams coming true. <laughs> Ronnie's words, we always say dreams are coming true. Ronnie, this one's for you. Gents, well done. Pleasure as always. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, guys. Well played. Um, just, just speaking of Captain Kim there, Kim, how much of Dimitri's achievements inspired you to get back to your best form? Um, well, a lot, to be honest, because um, I always thought he would be a major winner. I never expected to be so soon. But uh, to be really honest, I'm very proud of him. But at the same time, I'm jealous because my career isn't over yet and I want to do those performances as well. So it inspires me to practice harder and to work harder. Nevertheless, I want him to win a lot of tournaments. I want him to, to, to achieve great, but I want to do those things as well.
Uh, I agree with him. It doesn't matter really what I achieve. I've always been looking at Kim and Kim's results, and I've always been trying to give him the good examples or the good uh, help so to get him back up there. Because if you look to Kim's life and my life, it's obviously different. Our personal life is not the same. So obviously he has different struggles. I have different struggles, but we give our 100% and we always believe in each other. And that's why Team Belgium is so strong. We're a family. We've always said it and we've always believed in it. Belgium have got a great record in this competition. I mean, have you looked at the draw bracket? Um, do you sense a real opportunity again this weekend? Of course, we have to be 100% honest. Um, teams you want to avoid here are Wales, Australia, um, maybe England, Czech yeah, Czech, but I mean, if you, look, if you look further in, in the brackets, if you look at the quarterfinal semis, maybe yeah. those are teams you want to avoid. And most yeah. of them teams we wanted to avoid are in the, the right half of the bracket. So um, I'm not going to say it's an easy draw. I'm never going to say that, but I mean... You want to avoid, obviously, Wales, Australia now, um, Netherlands. They're all on the right side. We've yeah. got England, Northern, oh, no, Northern Ireland lost to Canada. So, um, yeah, right. yeah you, you never know. Um, I think the, the, our half of the draw is open now. Yeah, we looked at it. We uh, talked about it. But the only thing we always do is focus on ourselves and give our best and try to get through every round we play. So we're very happy to get through to the first round because it definitely wasn't easy. Okay, excellent, guys. Congratulations on the win. Cheers. Just one for me, uh, for you, Kem. Demi is known as one of the most um, self-believing players on the tour. Did that rub off on you during that game, especially when you were when you were three-one down? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, Dimitri's in a good flow at the moment. I'm a bit more down. Um, maybe two or three years ago, um, I was the one that carried Team Belgium. Now it's this one. Yeah. Um, he's won the world match play and he has, he has to take advantage of that. It's an experience a lot of us players don't get. I don't get the experience of winning the major. He's got not that yet. experience. Now. Not yet. Come on, guys. Be honest. Not yet. <laughs> no, he's got, the, he's got that experience now. And it's massive. It's important. It's important for us. We get seat number, um, what is it, five now because he won the world match play. So we have to be grateful. Uh, we have to think about that. The thing is, though, as well, even though I managed to win the world match play, I've never been to a final session of a European tour. Kim, I've played a final session of the European tour so many times. I've seen him play in finals. I've learned so much about his games and who he played and what he did with certain situations. And I've always used them onto my game and developed myself. So as I always say, I've learned a lot of Kim, even though he doesn't know. I know that I've learned a lot of him and playing his games, his experiences, and he always shared them with me. And well, he's always been a big idol, and that's why I'm always going to be calling him the coach. Even though he learned a lot from uh, Ronnie and my dad, he's always going to be the coach for me. It doesn't matter wherever I'm going to be. I believe where I am, he's going to be always going to be supporting him. I'm always going to tell him that as well. Brilliant. Thank you very much, guys, and best of luck in the next round. Cheers. Thank you, guys.